Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my curls, and welcome to Kentucky Lake. Y'all said you wanted to go places with me, and I want to show you around Western Kentucky where I live. We're on our family boat today, and we're spending it on Kentucky Lake. It is a beautiful, super hot, lots of breeze though, sunny day on Kentucky Lake. And y'all, I got some wild, stinking hair. I cannot keep these frizzies under control with all this wind. We're spending our day on the lake today, and I thought you might want to come with me. So put on your bathing suit and your sunscreen, and let's have a fun time on Kentucky Lake. So, it is Saturday morning, and I'm preparing for our lake trip tomorrow. Now, let me tell you, if you, you can't just Johnny up and go to the lake. Going to the lake takes preparation, right, Pollux? <laughs> There is so much to do to be able to go to the lake. If you're gonna do it right, you gotta be prepared. Well, there is stuff I gotta do today. And y'all, I am dragging booty. Y'all have heard me say that before. I'm exhausted. I worked last night at the ice cream shop. I got home about 11.30. It's high ice cream season. We were screaming busy, so I'm worn out. But I gotta get it done, because I have to work again tonight. So my only opportunity to get all of my lake prep stuff done is this morning, Saturday morning. So Pollux and I are getting ready to prep for the lake. Let me show you what all you have to do to get ready for the lake. Or this is how we go to the lake. Now, if you all are not from around here and you come down to the lakes area and you rent a boat and you go out, you do you girl, but this is how we go to the lake. So let's see, we have 12 of us, I think, that are gonna be on the boat tomorrow. And so my sister and I made a food plan and we kind of doled out responsibilities and things to bring. So I'm responsible for, we're gonna have lunch on the boat. We're not doing dinner. I'm responsible for the main part of lunch and I'm not gonna show you what that is. I'm gonna show you when we pick it up in the morning. Because let me tell you, there is something you absolutely have to take to eat when you go to the lake. Um, it's how rednecks go to the lake. And I think you're going to be surprised when you see when I pick it up. But I'm going to show you that in the morning. But we've got to have chips and snacks and sweets and drinks and all of those things. So we kind of divvied, divvied things up. And this is what's my, and this is what is on my list. So I am in charge of the fruit tray for tomorrow. So let me show you. I'm going to, got to clean all these strawberries. We have fresh local blackberries, y'all. Local blackberries. I love blackberries. These are going to the lake. I'm gonna cut up some apples. And we have this awesome cream cheese fruit dip. If y'all have never had this stuff, you have got to try it. It is so good. So we're fruit people, so I'm gonna get all this fruit cleaned and take it to the boat tomorrow. So this is my snack. I'm sure I'm gonna have cookies too, but I love fruit when we're out on the water. And then, let me walk in here. This is kind of my getting ready stash. I've got our towels. I'm taking chips and salsa. We're taking ranch, which you'll understand when you see what our lunch is tomorrow, and some more chips. And then, we're taking a cooler of drinks. Each family's responsible for bringing whatever drinks that their their family drinks. And look here. Who boy. Okay. So we're taking beer. We're taking y'all, I didn't love these. Ignore that. We're taking our white claws. There's plenty of water already at the boat. I don't have to bring any of that. But Randy is responsible for getting together the cooler, but it's gonna be full of beer and white claw. Y'all should try these. They're excellent. The Corona version, didn't love it. So my sister is bringing, uh, she made pasta salad. She's bringing the sweets, like cookies, because her kids are a lot younger than mine, and so they're more like cookie and sweet eaters. So she's bringing all the sweets. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna spend the day on the boat, and I think you all are really gonna love Kentucky Lake. It is, it is so beautiful. I grew up on the lake. My parents live on the water, and so, when I was growing up, I could literally just walk out our back door and get in the river, in the Tennessee River, which is connected to Kentucky Lake. Alex, are you just gonna hang here with Demaxer tomorrow? I know, I wish I could take y'all to the boat. I just, I just don't think you could behave. I'm afraid to do it. Mama would have to keep a constant eye on you, Mooey. 
and I just don't think it would be a good idea. Just don't think you'd like it. So these guys are gonna hang here at the house. They'll be just fine. What you got there, Pollux? Y'all, Pollux tried to come in the door yesterday with this toy in his mouth, but it was long ways and he, he couldn't fit in the door. It was hilarious. I am leaving the dogs at home tomorrow. They'll be fine. I just can't take them to the boat. I, I, I just can't. I, I can't keep an eye on them the whole time. It would make me super nervous. And I know a lot of people take their dogs to the boat. There are doggy life jackets, um, people that have speed boats or pontoon boats. That's probably a great idea because you're right there with your dog the whole time and you know exactly where they are. My parents have a, I guess it's a mm, technically a houseboat. So there's an indoor, there's an upstairs, there's a huge sun deck. And I just, with all the kids that are going to be on the boat and the people, I'm afraid somebody's going to come outside and open the door and the dogs are going to come out onto the deck or the back and I just can't keep an eye on them. So yeah, they're staying here. And I think I've told y'all before that Randy's parents have a huge garden while my mother-in-law just called and the corn is in. Ah, oh my gosh, the fresh corn. And so Randy's headed over there right now to get us squash, corn, and more tomatoes from the garden. And then last week we had okra um, and green beans and more squash. So it is so nice when your relatives have a garden. We pretty much all of our vegetables come from the garden all summer long and when the corn is in my mother-in-law calls and she says come get your corn it's in if you don't want it i'll give it to somebody else but you have this many ears and you better get here now so randy literally ran to his mama's to get the corn because it is so scarce because judy when the corn comes in she cleans and puts up enough corn for all of our family dinners for the entire year ahead. And then what's left gets divided up among the four kids. And Randy is the baby of the Hayden family. Mm. So anyway, so yes, we had to run over there and get our corn and all the fresh tomatoes. I love fresh tomatoes out of the garden. I had a BLT sandwich last night for dinner with the fresh tomatoes. Let me show you these. We picked these tomatoes up from them the other day. We've already eaten half of them, but they're just like our little babies. We keep them lined up on the kitchen counter. And my mother-in-law always taught me, put your tomatoes upside down so it doesn't bruise them. And that's where we keep our little babies until we eat them all summer. Mindy just showed up. Look at all of this corn. And we got some bonus squash. I think they grow silver queen, I believe is what the corn is. Silver Queen, this is this is our corn. That is all we get, y'all. And then we got more tomatoes. Let me put these little babies right out here. We're gonna have a tomato and basil pasta this week, which I only cook in the summer when we have fresh tomatoes from the Hayden Garden. And I'm gonna film that and show it to you because if you can get your hands on fresh, like homegrown tomatoes, this is a recipe you have to make. It is so good and so simple. <laughs> hey, good morning. We're packing the car to head to the lake. Y'all, this is so much work. I have been up cleaning berries, getting everything together, swimsuit, sunscreen, beach towels. It is a lot. Randy's packing the cooler and we got to get out of here. We have fried chicken to pick up. White clothes, some of the Corona and Corona. Show us your shirt. Hee hee, heading to the lake. <laughs> no, but yeah, this is it. Brecken just got home. She's going to drive separate, of course. Um, but yeah, we're going to hop in the car. It is hot, y'all. It is 9.30 in the morning. It, it is scorching. But let's get on the lake. I cannot wait for you all to see Kentucky Lake. It is beautiful. So here we go. After we get the chicken. Got my broom, mate. I brought it. I, that's what I said. I got, oh. I got it in here. Get it, get it, tell you. Here's our lunch, y'all. We'll show you on the boat. It's how you eat lunch, redneck style, on the lake. Uh -oh. I know they all have a little punch in them. Oh. He couldn't wait. 
he had to get in the potato wedges. But they're good. They're crispy. They're fresh. Mmm. You're getting it on your t-shirt. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> has camping there's a little like private airport here all sorts of things there's a lodge there's private cabins uh, yeah that well there's a beach y'all there's a golf course but we're headed to the marina all right see this way to cottages and this way to the marina oh see Oh, <laughs> he going boating. Y'all see him? <laughs> oh, ooh, front row Joe over here. Uh uh. Yeah, oh. Yeah. That's the hard part. What? Parking. Yeah. <gasps> you think you can get in there? Here she comes. This is our ride. <laughs> this is our ride, y'all. It's Brownie! Oh, man. <laughs> Let me hang on to my old shit handle. <laughs> yeah. Just run up there. Yeah. Just don't spill the chicken. Yeah, don't spill the chicken. You spill the chicken, you fail. <laughs> this turn gets me every single time. Yeah, let's not run our back wheel off in the corner. Yeah. Randy's on that side. We're about being stabbed by that thing. Okay. Alright. What are these little things with the blue lights? Uh, they give like water and stuff, like hose. Oh. And power? Yeah, and power. Mm -hmm. So you can see it now, hooking it up? Yeah. And then close at night so you can have lights. Somebody fell through, didn't they? Somebody what? Ooh, that's a nice pontoon boat. Yeah, that Look is. Look at that. Wow. Nice. This would be us. There's my dad. We're here. We're loaded. Everybody's on the boat. This is us. The, not the little one. The big one. When we're getting ready to take off. So I'll see you out in the water. Okay. 
Kentucky Lake is made up of all of these bays and all of the bays have different names and right now we are at Sled Creek. This is where we've been most of the day. We've been um, jet skiing, we've been inner tubing, we came out here and anchored and we've had lunch and now we're going to pull up anchor and we're going to head to Moores and along the way we're going to pass um, Pisca Bay, there's Big Bear, there's Little Bear, there's all of these little bays and that's where people go. They go in the bays because the water is calmer so if you're going to ski or inner tube or do any of those things you don't do it out in the wide open Kentucky Lake. You want to be inside one of the bays. We're ready to go. We're going to ride around. We're going to get out in the middle of Kentucky Lake and just kind of look around and honestly my favorite part of the day is like five o'clock on the lake. The water is just like glass. I love to be on the front of the boat and just kind of ride around on the lake. It is absolutely beautiful. And so I'm gonna show you around and so you can see Kentucky Lake. One of the great things about living at Kentucky Lake and just being out in the water, it doesn't matter what kind of boat you have. You can be in a fishing boat, a ski boat, a pontoon boat, a houseboat, a big sea cruiser like we are. You can be um, on a jet ski, on an inner tube. There are, I saw somebody riding a big rubber ducky a minute ago. It's pretty funny. <laughs> but you can just, it doesn't matter. And all, if you find somebody you know, you pull up beside them on the boat, you, you tie together with ropes and you just have a big party. That's what everybody does on Kentucky Lake. You just do your thing, you do you, and you have a good time. Make sure you bring your fried chicken. If you are a true southern redneck and you're at the lake, you brought your fried chicken, which is exactly what we had for lunch. Fried chicken, pasta salad, chips, fruit. Let's see, we've had ice cream sandwiches, drumsticks, goldfish crackers. Oh gosh, we've had chips and salsa. We had cookies. We had, I don't even know what all we've had. It just seems like when you're on the lake, the water just makes you eat. You eat and you eat and you eat all day long. You eat and you drink. Yeah, just bring your boat, whatever you got, it doesn't matter what it is, and just spend the day on the lake. That is how you do it, y'all. Pulling up anchor.
I don't know what this audio is going to sound like, y'all. It's windy. We are headed back to the marina. It's been a fantastic day on the water. I've tried to show you all kind of around some of the bays. Kentucky Lake is so much huger than I could ever show you. It's one of the largest. Don't quote me. I don't, don't fact check me, but it's one of the largest man-made lakes in the world, or it was at one time. It is home to just so much recreation. You've seen barge traffic. You've seen pontoon boats, ski boats, house boats, big boats, little boats, fishing boats, people on jet skis. Everybody just has a ball and really, really, really enjoys Kentucky Lake. And if you notice, or I don't, I hope you were able to see it, everybody that passes everybody else on a boat waves. It's just what you do. It's the southern way when you're on the lake. Woo! My hair, y'all. It has been a day. We are backing her in. Good gracious. Look at those parking skills, y'all. That's how you drive a boat. Yeah? Get the front? Yeah, just so they can get a rope to you. Oh, B, get to the yes. front. I was like, get, get what is the front? Whew. We made it in one piece, y'all. We're back. Time to get packed up, and now we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for dinner, because we didn't bring dinner, so we're gonna pick something up. Maxie and Pollux are waiting for us to get home, I'm sure, but we made it back safe and sound. So this was our day on Kentucky Lake. We are sunburned, we are happy, we are sweaty, we stink, we're sticky. We had a really good day. I didn't get in the water. I got on the jet ski, but I didn't really like get in the water. I think everybody else jumped in but me. And my mom, my mom and dad didn't. But we had a really good day. So thanks for joining me on Kentucky Lake and my little show around Western Kentucky where I live. It's beautiful here, you all. If you ever want to come to the lake, there are so many cabins that you can rent that are super affordable. You can come down, you can go camping, you can rent motorhomes, you can rent campers, and you can rent actual cabins right on the lake. It is beautiful. Highly, highly recommend that you visit the lake. Are you eating again? Man!
a beautiful day on the lake, y'all. Nobody got hurt. Um, nobody got sick. The jet ski didn't break down. The boat didn't break down. Normally, when we're on the water, something goes wrong. It is just what happens when you're at the lake. But we made it in one piece today, so that was good. So we're packing up, and I guess we're going to head home and see the doggies. I know they miss us. Can you live there? Great hair. I see great hair. Yeah. Run. Winter. That's where I get it. Water down. Underneath, you know? Yeah. Hey okay. guys, come on, come on, come on. Go this way, come on, let's go out. Hey, Pogs, come on, come on, let's go out. Come on, Pogs. All right, Boo, come on. Go, 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 go out. Go party. Go party. Go party. I know I'm stinky. Ooh, that was a hornet. Go, go, go party. I'm stinky. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we're zooming in. Did you miss me, Moo? Did you miss me, sweet boy? I know. Oh, come down. Yeah, you missed me, didn't you? Oh, sweet. We're home. I'm getting the sniffs, I guess, because I stink from the lake. <laughs> the sniffs. We're getting the sniffs. Mom, stinky. Come on. Come on, Pogs. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. Oh, give me money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you want to put your booty on? <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm getting the sniff solo. All right, whew. Gosh. All right, oh, what are you doing? All right, guys, did you miss me? Really? Did you miss me that much, Pollux? What are you getting? Really? Really? What? Did you miss me? Did you miss me today? I missed you. Oh, I did. Gosh. Oh! <gasps> oh somebody jumped on somebody. Uh oh, Mooey. He did a me too. He didn't mean to, buddy. It's okay. He didn't mean to. Goodness, what is happening down here? Oh. Why are you tearing up your bed more? Okay, is this the husky coming out? Is this what y'all were telling me huskies do? Mm hmm. Pollux, don't do that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, are glad I'm home from the lake. They missed me. I missed them. I've had a shower. I stunk. Oh my gosh. Just sweaty. Oh. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> sweaty, sticky, stinky Pollux. And he is dying for me to play with him. Oh. <sighs> Here to Mooey. He resting on the couch. But thank you all for joining me on our late day. I had a good time. Going to the lake is a lot of work, and it takes a lot out of you. Just something about being in that sunshine all day long, and just, who it is something. Mm. But I'm glad to be home with my buddies, and I'll see you next time.